Welcome back to the next video in my series on building a shopping cart with Laravel. I left when we had our database in place and when we seeded all this product, product data here. So with all these books here. Now, before we can actually work with the shopping cart or before I implement those features or start implementing them, I want to implement the, the user so that the user is able to sign up, sign in, and yeah, that we have that user in place, which we will need later anyways. So the first step is to create the startup or the sign up page and, and process. So let's do that. In my Laravel project, I will start by creating the user itself. So the user model first. And I will do this in the terminal window here, navigate into my project folder. And I run PHP artisan make and now I'm only going to make a migration file because well I deleted that earlier in my database migrations folder the model still exists from the default setup Laravel ships with so I will use that model and yeah just create a migration file by running make migration and I will name this file create user table of course you may choose whichever name you want now this placed a new file in my database migrations folder, this one here. And in this file, I can set up the logic I want to set up to, well, create a new user. I will just copy this schema block here from my products table so that I don't have to rewrite all of that. I will use the timestamps and the increments. And here in the down function, I will implement schema drop and then the table name. The table name, of course, will be user. So I'm going to change this up here too. And now what should the user have besides my increments and timestamps? Well, I want my user to, not this tab table, uh, to have an email address, which should be, well, a string, a var chart in the database then. And also a password, which will also be a string. Now here's an important thing. The email address should be unique. So I'm going to add this unique method here, which will just set up the database in a way that, or this table in a way that we can't enter two uh, identical email addresses. So, however, I will check for that when validating user input later too. And with that, I think I have a nice looking user model with the basics I need right now. So in the user model file, I'll take the default file, which is fine by me, but I will get rid of this name field here in the fillable um, field here because, well, my user doesn't have a name, simple email and password. And of course, this will be extended later on when we need something like a shipping address or something like that. But for now, I'll stick to this um, simple sign up here and extend this step by step. And yeah, that, that looks good. Now, what does the fillable field here do? And the same questions, of course, true for the hidden field. Well, that are little, well, helpers by Laravel, which basically mean if you create a new user, you may pass the fields specified in this fillable field in this area here in the constructor of that user. So this is a quicker way of creating a user basically. And the hidden field is important when retrieving a user from the database, password and the remember token won't be well output or won't be retrieved. So if you then output the user, for example, you make sure that you're not ac accidentally passing the password or something like that. So with that, the user is set up and time to create the, the views for that. So I will already have my user folder here. And in this folder, I will create a new file, signup.blade.php. And this, of course, will be my signup page. And I will also create two other files already, the signin.blade.php and the profile blade.php file. Now I'll start with the sign up file. Here I will create a row. This is just a bootstrap class, of course, and just some columns here to position this nicely. Of course, you may choose whichever styling you prefer for your application here. If I could type 
typing and talking not always that easy so with that my my rows here are set up on my columns so this will be the sign up page and on this page i'll of course have a form where i later will navigate to a route i have yet to create this will be method post i want to submit this form with the post method and in this form i'll create a div form group just to give the same bootstrap styling i'll have my label for the email field so this uh, will be this field here email name should also be email of course and i'm just copying that to also provide a password field and yes you could of course also implement some kind of confirm password field but i'll keep that simple here so the password and also password here and here too And finally, a button to submit that form. So that's my basic sign up form here. And I also want to add a block at the top where I can output validation error messages if I get any. So here I will have my alert div, alert danger class. And I want to output the individual error messages here as paragraphs. In order to do that though, I will first wrap this in an if statement to make sure I only attach this div if errors are available. The code for that is to count if my errors variable has any errors. And close the if block here, of course. And then inside of this div, I want to loop through all the error messages. So I'll have a for each loop here where I access my errors variable, which will be provided by Laravel, all errors, and loop through them as individual errors, of course, and for each here, and output the errors here in the paragraph. Error. So with that, I'm displaying errors if I have any. And as a next step, I want to implement the sign up logic. So to first show me that view and also to submit it if I want to do that. So I'll go to the routes PHP file. And well, currently I don't have that many routes. So I want to change this. And this will give me the sign up route here. This should use the user controller with which I still have to create get sign up and I'll give this a name of user dot sign up and I'll also create the post route already which will be hit once the user submits the form so this will also be living in the user controller at post sign up and we'll have a name of user sign up as well, which doesn't interfere with the get route since we have different methods here. So I will create that controller and I'll, I'm going to do this with the artition command again. So php artition make controller user controller. So let's open this newly created controller here. And I need two actions for now. So public function get sign up is first one which should display the sign up page so i will return a view here and the view i want to show of course lives in the user folder and is then the sign up blade.php file this is why i return this view here and the post function or the post action here to handle the form submission will receive the request object and it's important to have this illuminate HTTP request import here at the top to allow Laravel to do this injection here. And then I will want to sign the user up with those credentials. Therefore, I will first validate the submitted request. So let me set up some rules here. And I want the email address, of course, to be an email address. Um, it should also be provided in the first place, so required. And I want to make sure that it is unique so it doesn't exist in the database. Now I set the database table up in a way that I can't submit 
the email address or that I can't write the email address to the database if it already exists. But that would throw an ugly SQL error and I don't want to display that to the user. Therefore, I will use another validation here, which is named unique and then the name of the table where it should be unique, to, which is users. And with that, Laravel will check if the email field in the table already contains, well, the past value in this email field here. So that's the validation for the email address. For the password, I simply want this to be required. And let's say I want to have a minimum length of four. And of course, again, adjust this to your needs. Now, as you're probably aware, this validation will automatically return uh, back to the page the user comes from and send the appropriate error messages with the uh, response so that it will automatically re-render the sign up page and show the validation error. So that we don't have to do anything here. So we can continue here in the case that validation is successful. And then of course I want to create a new user. So I will do this new user and make sure to add this import to app backslash user at the top. Now, since I set up this fillable field here, I can quickly create a new user by passing an array to this constructor, which well describes this user or which contains all the fields with which I want to create this user. So for example, the email field, which will be of course the request and then the email field retrieved and using request input is just another way of using, for example, request input like this. So just another way. And the password, of course, which should also be request input password. However, I don't want to store the unencrypted password. Therefore, I will use the bcrypt helper method, which Laravel provides to, well, make sure that the password is encrypted and not stored in raw form. Next, I can run user save to save the user to the database. And then I want to return a redirect to the, well, let's say home page for now. So I'll navigate to another route to the product index route to be precise, which is just the route you set up here in the routes file, the get route to the starting page. And with that, the sign up page should work. We should be able to get to this sign up page here. However, I first need to run my migrations. So run migrate to create this user table. And with that, I want to try this out. So I'm targeting, targeting this sign up route and oh, I see one thing I forgot. I of course have to extend the, the layout. Without that, well, I get this ugly layout you just saw. So I'm going to extend my master layout here. And of course, insert this in the content section, all this code here. So that should make this look nicer if I reload this. Much better, of course. And also, since I'm here anyways, I'll give this button nicer styling. So final reload looks better though. I also need to give my imports the form control bootstrap classes. I forget that quite a lot to be honest. Form control. So now it should look nice, much better. So now I'll try to sign up with my test at test.com email address and the test password here. Yeah. That happens if you were coding in uh, another language before. You forget basic stuff like submitting this CSRF token. Anyways, great way to show how you can quickly implement this token. Before, I was always creating this hidden input field. And that's important to know what happens behind the scenes. But if you want to quickly insert this, you may just use CSRF field and this helper method will create this basically this hidden input field here, hidden with then the value of session token and the name token and so on. So with the field you saw in other videos on this channel. Of course, one thing missing here is that I have to implement the route I want to navigate to, so user sign up. 
And I'll also update the header to show user management here instead of user account. I'll change user account here to sign up and duplicate this to also have sign in and I'll add this later again once I have the sign in logic in place. So now I'll hook up the sign up route here, route user sign up. And with that, these first steps should be possible to take. So I'll go to my project, reload this starting page here and click on sign up. This takes me to this page, great. So now if I create a new user, I'm taken back to the index page. And if I have a look in my database, I can show you this real quick. You see that my user was indeed created. So with that, the user sign up is in place. It's next time to also implement the sign-in logic and as well the log-out logic. See you there.